In this video, I will show you how to remove background noise from audio. We will use a free and open source software named Audacity for this process. You can get the software from the website audacityteam.org. This software is available on Windows, Mac and Linux. Install Audacity if you do not have, and then open the audio file. I will use this file for demonstration. What we are seeing now is the waveform of the audio. Let's hear it a bit. 10. 9. I have recorded simple number counting here. You can also see some noise in the waveform in the form of small dots. If I only play the noisy area, you can see its audio level in the playback meter. As you see it is around minus 39 dB. You may not be able to hear that as it was too small, but if I increase the gain, you will be able to hear it. You are now able to hear this. I will set the gain to default 0 dB again. Noise reduction is a two-step process. First step is to identify a noise only part of the audio. This noisy part can be in the beginning, or in the middle, or in the last part. Actually a 0.05 seconds sample from anywhere in the audio file is needed for audacity. Generally this noise is present all over the audio or spread over the audio. I will select a noise sample from the beginning and go to effect noise reduction. In step 1, you will see a get noise profile button. It tells Audacity to take a sample of the noise. Later Audacity will remove noise when this noise is matched. Click on get noise profile. Second step of noise reduction is to select the part of the audio from where you want to remove noise. I want to remove noise from the whole audio clip, so I select everything by double clicking. Then go to effect noise reduction again. For this step 2, you have to configure how you want to reduce noise. Default 1 works fine in most cases, but understanding the settings will give you more control. Noise reduction slider tell Audacity how much noise to remove. 12 dB is the default and 48 is the maximum. If the noise is quite strong, you can increase to 18 or 24. But keep in mind, reducing too much noise also hampers the main voice. So if 12 dB works for you, keep that. Otherwise try with small increases like 15 or 18. Next is sensitivity. This setting decides how aggressive the noise reduction will be. 0 means the least sensitive and 24 means the most. Once again too aggressive noise reduction will damage the audio quality. Try with 6 or 12. But do not use less than 6. If sensitivity is very low, then that may introduce another kind of side effects named artifacts. Last field in this step is the frequency smoothing bands. When noise reduction is applied, there can be some gap introduced in frequencies. This smoothing tries to repair those gaps. Zero means do nothing with the gap. For voice you can use one. This value should be as low as possible. If you use a bigger value, you will see the voice sounds different. Then these radio buttons reduce and residue. Residue will show you what will be reduced. I will reduce noise so I check, reduce. Click OK. You see the small dots are gone. If I play this noisy part, you can see the audio level is around 51 which was 39 before reducing noise. Normally this amount of noise is okay as those cannot be heard without a very loud volume level. You can apply noise reduction multiple times. If I go to effect, you see an option with repeat noise reduction. This repeat noise reduction will apply the last noise reduction settings again. I have to select the audio before applying the repeat noise reduction. You see those noises are completely gone from the playback meter. Also make sure the original sound is good. 10. If applying noise reduction one time does a decent job, you should apply only once. Otherwise you can repeat. But always keep in mind, too much noise reduction also degrades the audio quality. 
So this is how to reduce noise from audio using the free software Audacity. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Please comment what video tutorial you would like to see next.